tips and tricks to make your animations look cool in Newton 4. So let's launch Newton. And we'll start by putting in a floor and walls using comp walls and make a preview. Well, it's fun, but it's no great shakes. Let's start by adding gravity. But right now we're having a problem with interlocking objects. To solve this, we'll increase the substep. I generally use 10 when I have complex objects, such as text. We're also going to reduce collision tolerance. That way there'll be less space when the objects touch. The trick that changes everything is using the randomizer for each property. It makes animations look natural. We'll start by assigning random densities values between 1 and 3 to our objects. We'll also use the randomizer for friction. We'll set a minimum value of 0.1 to prevent it from slipping too much. And leave 1 as the maximum value. We'll also change the bounciness values. We'll set values between 0.1 and 0.7 to prevent them from bouncing too hard. Our animation is starting to look different. We'll also add an angular velocity. We'll set minus 2 and 2 so that when our objects start to fall, they rotate a little, giving them a bit of life. We can also add a fairly low initial velocity. This will give our objects anticipation. You'll see, it'll just make them rise a little. I want random values between 1 and 5. And don't forget to change the direction, set to minus 90 to make our objects go up. This gives our objects a little anticipation before they fall. Another trick to liven up our simulations is to use gravity scale on objects. This is the influence of gravity on each object. Here, we'll use values between 0.8 and 1.2. This allows us to keep unity while having different values for each object. Objects now fall at different speeds. Another trick is to use collision groups to prevent objects from piling up on each other. So we'll use the randomizer to mix the collision groups to 100%, and for collide with, we'll set it to 30%. Now our objects don't all stack on top of each other. We'll make sure that our objects don't all fall at the same time. To do this, we'll go back into After Effects and desynchronize the endpoints of our objects. I'm going to use the script called Rift to do this. And I'll set a random entry point between frames 0 and 15. Here's the result. Now we can go back to Newton. And if I do a preview, you can see that my objects don't all fall at the same time. Let's render this scene to see how it looks in After Effects and finish our work. It looks much better, but all the red objects are in front of the black ones. We'll have to add some randomness here too. For that, I'm going to use another script. Kinda sorta and I'll choose random order, then I'll press sort to find the pattern I like. I can rerun a preview and all I have to do is reset the endpoints to zero and I'm done with my simulation.